Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given simultaneous system of equations by substitution method. As you can see, we got two equations. The first one is quadratic one and the second one is linear. So I'm going to call the very first equation as equation number one and as far as the second is concerned i am going to isolate y that means this negative 2x is going to go on the right hand side so this equation simply become y equals to 3 plus 2x and i am going to call this equation as equation number 2 now in this next step i am going to substitute this y equal to 3 plus 2x value in equation number one that means wherever we're going to see y part i am going to replace it by y equal to 3 plus 2x so we simply going to have this one simply equation number one is simply become x squared plus y in our case is 3 plus 2x square equals to 18. And now in the next step, we are going to expand this part over here by using this well-known fact a plus b squared equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So I'm going to call this 3 as an a and 2x as a b so this is simply is going to become simply x square plus 9 plus 12 x plus 4 x square equals to 18. now let's go ahead and move this 18 on the left hand side so we are going to have this 4x and 1x become 5x square with x squared and then plus 12x plus 9 and we when we move this 18 on the left hand side become negative 18 equal to 0 or simply we got 5x square plus 12x minus 9 equal to 0 and as you can see that this is a quadratic equation that could be factored out as I can show you now. So the possible factors are going to be simply 5x minus 3. The other factor is going to be simply x plus 3. And if you are wondering how did I factor this one into this one, by the way, if you need more questions, you can go ahead and visit my YouTube channel. Just simply type pre-math no fuss factoring and you're going to see a bunch of videos and that's going to explain it to you super easy way how you can factor these one out and one of the the video is over here i gave you a link you can see that one i'm sure you're gonna love it and now since these two factors equal to zero i can split them up so i can separate them first one is going to be 5x minus 3 equal to zero and the second one is going to be x plus 3 equal to zero over here i'm going to move this 3 on this side so 5x equal to positive 3 so x is going to become simply 3 over 5 that is one of the x values and on this side x equal to negative 3 is another x value and since we are running out of space over here i put down x equal to 3 fifth right here and x equal to negative 3. and we know from equation number 2 that y equal to 3 plus 2x and here i can just simply find the value of y by just substituting 
x equal to 3 fifth so I can write y equal to 3 plus 2 times 3 fifth I just simply replace that one that is going to give us 3 plus 6 over 5 and if I put 1 underneath this one I could just simply crisscross I can cross multiply and I can get this is going to be simply equal to let me show you 3 times 5 is 15 and then whatever sign we got you put down plus and then cross multiply the other way around 1 times 6 is 6 divided by just multiply these denominators 1 times 5 is 5 so that means y equals to 21 over 5 value so that's our x y value is going to become simply 3 fifth comma 21 over 5 this is the order pair where you can see that this is our x value and this is our y value now let's go ahead and repeat the same process on the right hand side for x equal to negative 3 once again we are going to find the y value which is equal to 3 plus 2x so y is going to be simply 3 plus 2 time I'm going to substitute negative 3 for x over here so that is going to give us 3 minus 6 equal to negative 3 so our y value turns out to be negative 3 so thus our ordered pair is going to be simply negative 3 for x value and negative 3 for y value once again the first one is x value and this is second is our y value and here we got two sets of ordered pair and these are our final answers thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye